right? Yeah, yeah. which t- kind of ties us into the Disney Studios conference that kind of happened today. Yeah. So we're hot news. off the press, hot off the presses of that. So yesterday yeah. was Disney Plus and TV shows. Right. Right. Today was Disney Studios and movies. Yeah. So we're, we're even yesterday they announced movies, right? But like that was Disney Plus movies. Movies. Yes. This is the what they movies announced today. Movies would go to theater. Theaters. Yes. Yeah. So Bobby Two Eyes or Bob Iger. Bobby Two Eyes uh, <laughs> announced That's what that. We're calling them. This is all things coming to the theater. And this is strategic for them because whatever they're actually putting on on screen, this yeah. is what they want on the screen. Yeah. Which is cool to see. And also, everything that they've shown is eventually going to be on Disney Plus as well. Yes. So it's just, why not? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so what are those? Uh, what's the, what, Break her what, down. Yeah, break, break it down. down. So break Rise of Skywalker, we had the cast come out. We had Billy D. Williams out there. We had... Um, who plays Ray again? Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley, and we had John Boyega. The yeah. whole the whole cast. Oscar Isaac. Out, everyone dropped a trailer. They dropped a poster. The poster is wicked. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if this is the theatrical poster or if this is going to be just a D twenty three poster. It doesn't look very theatrical. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look very. But theatrical. But it looks really cool. Man. I really like, like the poster. Though, it just like it's seeing, so different. Than it what yeah, they it do. looks cool. It looks comic booky. Yeah, it looks. It almost looks like a cover for like a game. Which it actually makes looks yes. like a cover for a game. Cause yeah, it's especially like yes. almost like a uh, like a placeholder art almost right because emperor looks very menacing menacing and just kind of like drawn drawn yeah they're not like that's an actual picture of somebody do you right. know what i mean so they they dropped uh the trailer obviously during like the footage there people were freaking out because we got a bit of a trailer yesterday at the star wars there was a star wars panel and they showed some snippets we're supposedly getting a sizzle reel on monday for more like behind the scenes stuff of rise J- of skywalker jj abrams sizzle reel the J.J. Abrams is a real. And it sounds like a restaurant. That yeah, you know. say, say, yeah. What were you going to say? He, sorry? The, the, he always breaks down the inspiration of making a Star Wars film. Oh, for sure. We make practical effects and yeah. practical explosions. And is he British? Yeah, I was going to say. Why I don't he, know. Why is he, why is he, why is he talking like a this. Muppet? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like a Muppet right it now. sounds like a Muppet. Um, <laughs> so basically, like in the footage, the big thing that people were talking about is that Ray is seen in this black cloak with like Sith eyes holding a Darth Maul-esque dual lightsaber. Dual right? lightsaber and it's red. Mm. So that was like the big thing. People were just like, what does this mean? Mm. You know what I mean? It means that she has an alternate version of herself it out there. It means they're going to fix up The Last Jedi's mistakes. Or do more craziness. Or maybe she's just turned Sith. Do you think she turned Sith? And Kylo turned... Because can you end the saga with somebody not being... With them not being turned? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like return up, like turn, like right, Return of the Jedi. Darth Vader turns like ends up being good, good, right? We started good, became evil, then became good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, could they really end this with Daisy, who's been like the central hero of this, being bad or being? Defeated? I can't see um, Kylo. Kylo being good. He was such a Kylo baby in oh, the yeah. second one. It just it like to for him to change to be good is just right. the character would like it just wouldn't make sense. Right. He was like literally yelling at his yeah. guy to shoot down Luke Skywalker. Right. So it just it just didn't wouldn't You know you right. can't see it happening? No. Yeah. But, but I can see But I'm trying to think I'm trying to see Daisy turning to the dark side as well too, right? Or Ray turning I feel to like the dark they side. Wouldn't because it's it would, their first female you yeah. know, led yeah. superhero or in terms of like for the Star Wars franchise, they might be like, "Oh, this is gonna right. appear bad." Do you think it's like like a Force vision she's seeing, or something like that, or something like where she what like is... Palpatine is showing her the power that she could, or oh, like her oh. in the being a Sith, right? Mm-hmm. right Do you right. think that's Palpatine, like just like in her mind, being like, "Look at the power you could have." I don't know. I gotta watch this trailer. To really yeah, have to yeah. Watch this hopefully trailer it comes answer. soon, man. Like, cause I'm a, like, it's coming. This movie's coming out in December, and yeah. we've only gotten that one teaser exactly. yeah right was, so so we got september october november three more months yeah i'm assu- i would my money would be on october yeah. for a trailer yeah Mine and, and that's when when the probably the tickets would go on sale too yeah, yeah. so yeah. big movies coming out this year still big films big another fil- big, big films. announcement was black panther 2 is getting a release date which is pretty far away yeah. i think may 6 2022 that's so far away four years after the original it's a long time for sure. Again, it's, it's not. Time. It's not the last time we saw Black Panther, obviously, but but to have four years between a movie gives at least Ryan Coogler a lot of time to work on it, right? Oh, right. So too much time, I'd say. I feel like it's too much time. Yeah, I think it's too much. I, I would have said 2021 like, was the latest. Yeah, but this is. I mean, you got to think about it, Daniel. Like 
the last time you've seen Black Panther is in Endgame. Mm-hmm. And then... And he doesn't do he doesn't, much in it. So, he does, Phase he does, 4 he will be moments, done. But he's literally he's, in the last... But he's not a central figure in the movie, yeah. right? And this is their biggest... There's, what, there's their second, second, big, second, second biggest, biggest yeah. movie. Because it was a phenomenon, character, right? right? Yeah. Well, we don't uh, unless they're trying to like him. really invest in this character and give it the time it needs, I think so. Um, it just seems strange. It's such a four, like a four year gap. But I think when you're looking at, like, when you look, because yeah, it doesn't happen because was, Chadwick Bosman's what? He's like forty. He's like he's he's forty something, right? Yeah, yeah, 40s, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chadwick, he's uh no, but when you look at like Chadwick's in super demand right now for work, Lapita's in demand. Uh, Denai Guerrero is in demand. Ryan Coogler is in demand. Obviously, like he's producing the the Space Jam sequel. Like, like obviously, these are all actors who are huge in Hollywood right now because of the success of Black Panther, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's just strange to see four years between it. But I hopefully that just means that they're giving the story the time it needs to Would be you say developed. Chadwick's and, in demand, though. Well, I mean, he's known. He's a known entity, right? He's I know no, I just don't release like I mean other than Twenty One Bridges, which I mean I guess got pushed again right to right? November, right? Yeah, and then really other than that, the other films that he's kind of got in here or TV series, they don't really they don't stand out. No, I know, but like he's still like a known oh, entity so he's in Hollywood, known. right? Yeah, like he's a list now. You know what I mean? In terms of like he's an A list celebrity right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. But uh, yeah, but About I mean, I, I, I think this is more Ryan Coogler not being available and. Maybe working like, on the story. The, the Matrix more. is going to be done by then. The Matrix. I hope so. The, the, the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. The Matrix. Yeah, the yeah. Matrix. Yeah. Whoa. But also, but also, like, if Black Panther had a seat, like, that could have been when the third movie was coming out. If they were following an every other year schedule, so maybe it's nice that we're not getting Black Panther right away because it's going to build up us return more, right? Mm-hmm. People I hope are gonna, so. I you know, like so. people are still going to love Black Panther in 2022. That doesn't mean he's not going to show up in any other. Exactly, and that's that's a movie, thing too, right? right? Which we don't know yet, but right? Is, yeah. Is this going to be considered Phase 5 at this point? Well, they said everything they announced at Comic-Con was Phase 4. Yeah, so right. Black Panther, I'm assuming, would be the start of Phase 5. As well as Guardians but of the Galaxy. Right, but they didn't uh, officially lay that out. Mm. Um, Kevin Feige actually just dropped a quote from D23 um, about the whole Spider-Man Tom Holland situation. Right so, now? Yeah, this just came mm. out. This is coming from IGN. Um, so basically the article is called... Uh, Tom Holland and Kevin Feige confirm Spider-Man leaving the MS- uh, sorry the MCU. This is coming from Jim v- Vegvoda from IGN. Uh, so the quote from Kevin Feige says, basically, we've had five great movies. Oh, Holland said in a chat with Entertainment Weekly. Sorry, this is Tom Holland saying this. It's been five amazing years. I've had the time of my life. Who knows what the future holds? Um, Holland added, the future of Spider-Man will be different, but it will be equally as awesome and amazing, and we'll find new ways to make it cooler. Um. Yeah, this is uh, that's 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 no hope, man. Yeah, that's that sounds like no, no hope, hope and sadness. But you you can't really take that. I think because I think they can't really say yeah it sucks because yeah contracts and stuff like that, right? So and I think he's been bombarded with so many questions like how do you feel and right w- like w- w- they can't really just say yeah we're still working on it. Yeah, I I highly doubt they're not trying to fix this. Yeah, I think I think they're going to. I I honestly believe that this will be fixed. Because Kevin Feige even here says, um, it was never meant to last forever. We That's knew it, yeah. there was a finite amount of time that we'd be able to do this, and we told the story we wanted to tell. And I'll always be thankful for that. I don't agree that they told the story they wanted to tell. Well, I think he's just have, he's showing uh, no, for sure. No, right I, now, right? I, I, I totally agree with that statement. Yeah. But the, they, they, they set up started sp- a story. Thing they thing. started a story, right? Like, Spider-Man's obviously had two movies. He's been in three uh, team-up movies. Yeah. So we've seen him five times now. And they've set up Spider-Man to be the character that we know from the comics now, right? So it just, it's... Yeah, the, and you really didn't... Re- to tell you the truth, you really didn't get to see Spider-Man yet. Like, you, you were still... He's still a teenager. He's you're still, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're still he's seeing him. He's not a man him, yet. Yeah, you, no? you haven't seen him, like, become that, that Spider-Man. That's, like, the Spider-Man. Right. The character, the mantle. It sucks. It just sucks. It's a suck. It sucks, man. It sucks. I I hope I hope it gets solved because I think it will. I think I think it will too. But Honestly, like for it's now, it's looking so grim right now. It looks super grim right now. But like super that's with all grim, things, you know. You know? I I don't think like Disney wants the pressure from its fans after and especially their theme parks because now they're gonna have like what, well, the Mar- Avengers well, Disney Campus. Still owns- 
Spider Man though. Right. They still own Spider Man. Yeah. So they're gonna have you. People are gonna go to their ca- their their theme parks. They're yeah. gonna see Spider Man, but they're not gonna see him in their movies. And that right. to me, Disney is gonna be like I. I can't have that. I think it's, they're going to be calling him Arachnid Boy. Arachnid Boy? <laughs> or they <laughs> have to <monkey>? rebrand, <laughs> they rebrand Spider-Man. You think so? They cast Tom Holland as someone else? They just never refer yeah, to him as Spider-Man? Boy. I'm telling Arachnid you. Boy? Yeah, or, or Web Slinger. Yeah, because Spider-Man was all over D23 as well, too, with like yeah, the, posters the banners and, yeah. and everything like that. So which which I'm, I'm like, yeah. I mean, they only have a fin- finite amount of time to oh, yeah, prepare that, change right? it, right? So. No, but it's, it's just like... How could they He's not... He's a huge, integral part of that. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Of what the universe was building towards, yeah. right? I mean, let's... Positive thoughts. Positive and, thoughts. Uh, positive so thought, positive they, energy. Thoughts and together. prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Oh, God. Uh, Eternals. So we got some more information on Eternals, and we got to see cast photos in terms of how they would look in their suits. Yep. Yeah. Um, they announced Gemma Chan is coming coming to the series as well. Yep. Back to the MCU. This time as a different character. She's playing Cersei, I believe. Cersei, yep. Yeah. Uh, Kumail Anjiani was also up there, too. Dude, he's jacked now, he's, man. He's definitely jacked. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I just wasn't... Especially seeing him from Comic-Con. So yeah. now I'm like, damn, dude, you've been he, hitting the gym, Yeah, he looked, he looked buff. Like, yeah. he's been hanging out with Batista for sure. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Percent. Definitely, uh, Black Widow footage was showing. I'm hearing yeah. it's very like Winter Jason Soldier Born meets Mission Impossible, Impossible yep. meets Winter Soldier. Exactly, uh, Jungle Cruise, which I feel like has been coming out for forever now. They shot it such a long time, such ago. a long time ago yeah. with uh, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt. They rolled up on stage. They showed a trailer, I believe. Yep, some some footage from that was shown. Dwayne yeah. Johnson came on stage from he literally came from under stage on a boat, mm. and then Emily Blunt came in on a car. Nice. Yeah. I mean, interesting. Yeah. Jump interesting. On the car, in the car. In the car. Thank God. Yeah. Because that's how you should come in cars. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got some more Maleficent Mistress of Evil Maleficent. footage. Uh, Angie and Jolie was there, or as we call her around here, A Jolie. We call her that? Uh, I call her that. Okay. Yeah. I call her A Joel. A Joel. A Joel. Disney like loves her. Angelina Jolie. They right? love her. She's like. Yeah. But they don't she... like John Voight. No, no, <laughs> no one. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like she's in Eternals, she's in Maleficent, like so she's she's doing she's pretty well. killing it right now, yeah. right? We got another Mulan trailer as well, and the director I believe was there as well yep. to kind of show that off. So we see Mulan getting ready to score version of Honor to Us All, and uh, Mulan is clashing with what they expect in, in in the whole good wife scenario. Right. That's kind of what's brought up in the animated. Uh, and it's basically uh, one of the cool scenes, a training montage we get. We get some really cool cinematography and a very heroic-looking Mulan. Yeah. People really love the footage from what descriptions and what reactions are showing. Really? So we, we shall see what it comes out. Obviously, we, we did a live reaction, basically, to this trailer when it, it dropped during mm. one of our shows a few yeah. weeks back. Yeah, um, yeah we, ha- we have thoughts on it. Obviously, my biggest thing is what's where are we right now with live-action remakes? Is it supposed to be super like is have we had a hit yet other than jungle book like in, in like, our eyes or like a critical hit i'm sorry i mean in our eyes in, in our, our eyes our... i mean yeah we've we had cinderella yeah I cinderella, like cinderella was good but again it's like i like cinderella but i'm also so far attached from the original anime right that right yeah i and, got to enjoy and it. i think that's the biggest thing with lion king because i saw lion king again i'm like it's not a bad movie no it's just when you're so used to the animated version it just not seeing the emotion on their faces takes you out of it a little bit, well, right? That, that's that yeah, was the biggest thing. That and it also didn't do anything new to the right. story. But you know? what about Mulan though? When it's going for something? No, new, for sure, which, which is which is exciting, right? right. Which, which is cool. But to me, it, Mulan isn't so much that it's going a different route. It's that it doesn't look as exciting to me. Right. That's I think it my looked thing. a little bit more plain. It looked very right? generic. It, it looked almost like a. Like a period piece, like war film. It it didn't look like yeah. Disney. I right. guess that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Here. Yeah. So that's why I'm not concerned too much. That I don't want to draw the comparison of saying like, oh, all live action films have to be a carbon copy. Right. But it doesn't look exciting. That's and, it. It no. needs to have an identity at least. Yeah. Right. Well, well, this comes out in March, right? Uh, I believe it's March, March. May, I believe. Yeah. One of yeah. Those two. So it's it's the coming M1s. up soon. Yeah. Soonish. Probably get another trailer soon. Yeah. Yep. We also got a picture of Cruella. Cruella. Did you guys see the picture? I did. Yeah. What did you guys think? Cool. Yeah. Well, it looks interesting. Very interesting with Emma Stone playing Cruella. To she doesn't, film. It doesn't even look like Emma Stone. It does. That. She. No, she looks really. really looks, it looks Ella really good. Deville. Yeah. It looks well. That that's that whole mock up of that photo looks really good. Yeah. It has like the dogs, but they look the Dalmatians. Dalmatians are like. They're they're vicious dogs. Too. They're they're not the nicest. They're not the nicest dogs. dogs. No, they're not. They're not. Um, I know a couple of Dalmatians. They're mean to me. Yeah, they swear at us all the yeah. time too. It's like, oh, okay. 
Yeah. But yeah, it looks dope. Yeah. Looks I, ho- I hope it's good. Gritty. Uh, set in the 70s. Set in the 70s. It's coming out 2020 or 2021? Something like that. I can find out for okay, you. Okay, we'll, we'll get the date on that. Yeah. Uh, what else did we get here? Uh, after Corella DeVille, the next thing that we saw was Pixar P- coming to yeah, the stage. Yeah, so P-Doctor. P-Doctor came out. PDD. PDD. Who, uh, you know, head of Pixar right now. Killing it. Good for him, yeah. Killing it. Yeah, I love it. So he showed off a little bit of soul, some... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I realized how that's soul. He showed some soul. He played the guitar. Yeah. No, uh, so Soul is one of the newer Pixar films that I guess is 2021, I believe. Yeah, it's na- uh, next year. Next year. Is next yes, year? next yes. year. These so are 2020 films. They showed off some uh, concept art and they showed off uh, Jamie Foxx and uh, Tina, Fey. Tina Fey, what they're going to be looking like. They also announced that Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. <laughs> and John uh, Batiste. I think from. John the- Bat. Yeah, John Batiste will be doing the score. <laughs> Insane, wow. man. What? An interesting Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. I had to double Ross. check this wasn't a David Fincher movie. Dude, I, I was like, what is going on right now? Like, they're like, doing this is, the score? It's so intense. <laughs> to an animated film? Yeah, just like beheadings happening. Like, My what's God. going on? This what's, so what's the premise of the story? We don't know yet. Oh, they, they broke down some info on Did it. Did they? Yeah, so basically the premise of this uh, for Soul, it explores where souls come from. And Pixar, Ooh. so Pixar dreamed up like you seminars where all souls learn personalities before they hop into people and graduate on Earth. So it's very, like, um, inside it's out. Very, it, even, like, the yeah. look of the characters look very inside out. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, it looks like it's going to be, like, I think this is, like, Pixar, like, going back to their, like, original idea. Thought-provoking. Thought ones, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because this sounds, like, super deep. Like, you're talking about where souls come from, man? Our like souls. That's, deep. that's crazy. Who's directing this? It's Pete uh, Doctor. Pete Doctor? Is Pete yeah. Doctor directing this one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, PDD's directing the, this one. He's the type of guy that would kind of dive into that. He would. Thought-provoking That's animated great. film. Yeah. And it's got a great cast, too. Yeah. I mean, Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Questlove is in it. Yeah. yeah. Felicia Rash- uh, Rashad is in it. Yeah. I don't know who David David Diggs is, David but Diggs? yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Good to see. Uh, we got some more footage from Onward. This is where Tom Holland got to come out on stage <laughs> yep. with Chris Pratt, his other MCU buddy. Uh, again, the, we saw the trailer a little while back, but brothers, uh, they're seeking to cast a spell to bring their father back to see him for one day after losing him. So the spell goes wrong mm-hmm. and only brings back half of him, just the feet. <laughs> so the how's that half, though? So they just bring back like half of his or just body, like the I legs guess. And the, feet, just I his guess? legs. So it's like his legs are just like running around and stuff so like that. So the brothers try to find another gem to compete it. Yeah. Or complete it, sorry. So Dan Scan- uh, Scanlon, Scanlon, yeah. Scanlon is directing this. And he, he directed actually, Monsters uh, University. University that's yeah, it. and he basically said that he took inspiration to this because him and his brother lost his dad at a young age. Mm. And like there, he w- got inspired for this movie that way. So I'm like, oh, wow, yeah. that's, that's really deep that they're doing. Yeah. That. And yeah, it was just crazy thing. Chris Pratt and Tom Holland, who like the audience went nuts for, obviously. Like he couldn't even talk because people were screaming so loud. Tom Holland? Yeah. They were crying. Yeah. They were crying. They were crying. Yeah. They were crying. People were yelling, save Spider Man. There was chants happening. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was intense, yeah. man. Nuts, right? Uh, yeah, Tom Holland even thanked the fans and said, it's been a crazy week and I love you 3000. It's nice that he, because he came back on stage to do that. Oh, did he? So he didn't do it when he was on stage with Chris and everything. He came back after the footage for Onward was showing and he basically like had that moment with the fans. So like, it was a nice for them to at least acknowledge it. Again, like I was more surprised that he showed up. Obviously, I don't know if he was under contract to show up or anything, but you could see Disney or Sony being like, hey, don't do any public press this week. Yeah. Right. Um, but it was nice seeing him there because I yeah. think it was important that yeah. it gave a little glimmer of hope, right? Yeah. A little a little glimmer. Yeah, a little bit. But, I mean, we'll see. I'm just I'm nervous right now. Yeah. Uh, we got some more information about another new Disney animated movie coming out called Ray and the Last Dragon. It's going to be coming out in theaters next November. Uh, and Cassie Steele voices Rhea and Aquafina voices Sisu the Dragon. It's the year of Aquafina. Seriously. It is. Yeah. She's, uh, she's got a great agent. So is this, uh, it looked like it's a 2D animated film. It did look like it, but that yeah. was again con- concept art that right. we saw, right? So I'm just curious if this if this is going to be like a traditional like 3D animated film or so if they're, they're going back. Bring it back for you, eh? They're going back they to your style. You know what I mean? You. They listen to... Uh, listen to the podcast. Episode. <laughs> yeah. Now this Anthony guy, he's on to something. Bring back 2D. 2D. I haven't even seen the concept art, but I haven't It looks cool. Yeah. It looks cool, yeah. yeah. It's like a like a train your dragon type of thing. Uh it doesn't look like that. Like the animation literally I looks like it. I believe it's based on a, like an Asian mythology. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I also could just be making that up. Yeah. But I think you're right. But I think I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> uh and we got some Frozen 2 footage and a poster that came out as well. Yeah. 
Um, Evan Rachel Wood will be playing Anna and Elsa's mother, mm-hmm. who, if you've seen the first one, spoiler alert, she is dead. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, no. She's yeah. dead. I yeah. have not seen the first one. And yeah, it's <laughs> in the opening of the film, so yeah. don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, it's, the whole movie's based around that. Yeah, so this is, uh, they said, through flashbacks. Yeah. Unless they pull the wool over everyone's eyes. They're like, guess what? They're alive. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, she's evil. Maybe. Maybe. She's a zombie. Mm-hmm. Zombie mother. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of thought this was like a... a, a like, I know Frozen 2 is massive, obviously, oh, yeah. but I kind of wish they ended... Like, yesterday's streaming conference ended with, and here is Ian, Ian McGregor as Obi coming back, right? Yeah. I kind of wish that they had, like, that one more thing one announced more thing. here, too. Uh, well, the one more thing was Sterling K. Brown is also going to be in the movie, too. He's playing a uh, lieutenant, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, today, I, I think today wasn't as strong as yesterday's, but yesterday's no. was probably because the whole, like, I'm excited for Disney Plus at the end of the day. I can't wait to subscribe to it. Are you yeah. subscribing to it? 100%. Are day you? one. Day one, dude. Then I would sign up today. If there was an app yeah. that just had a timer in yeah, it, I would, sign up I would give them my money I today. would 100% do it right now. Because it literally is, like, the best value. When you're looking at all the streaming services that are out there and what you pay for for Netflix, which yeah. we're apparently going to be paying for for Apple, Plus, Apple TV Plus, like, how could you not see the value of the library that's just already there yeah you know what i mean that that's that's amazing that's huge Whew. very huge yeah so this, any thoughts so far guys it's hard not to uh like be happy with what disney's coming out with i think right like mm-hmm. again like we don't know again what the quality of everything's going to be coming out if we're going to like the movies but it's a promise of what's coming that it's nice seeing a roadmap. Yes. You know what I mean? Like with so many times with like, when we look back at DC and Warner brothers, it's, we don't know. It's so up in the air sometimes where it'll just be like a random press release. But I think the biggest thing that Disney does is that it like respects their fan base. It's consistently structured. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they care about the experience and the perception that they have as a company that they put they make these things events because people get excited for it. Right. You know what I mean? And then we come together and make a podcast about it, even though we were supposed to be on our break. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, it's yeah. important to talk about this. Cause you know, like I don't think we could have waited, uh, another week, to, oh, another week. Cause yeah. then there would be another news cycle and then tiffs happening. Yeah. So yeah. I'm glad that we were able to come together and then see what was announced today as well too. So yeah. craziness. Crazy. How are you feeling with everything? Shay? I'm excited. I mean, uh, I want to go back on our break because I want to go on a little vacation. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is this is big. I mean, we're big Disney fans here. We love Disney. Yep. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens. Do you guys think you'll ever leave your couch once Disney Plus? That's my up? fear. Because mm. I, I, I tell you this story all the time. But when I went on a, on a Disney cruise, they had, I guess, their version of Disney Plus on there with every single Disney movie and TV show. Right. I didn't want to leave my my boardroom at all. Like I wanted to stay in that room to watch all the movies instead of enjoying the cruise. Right. Cause I mean, I was just, it's a nostalgia trip. I kept watching five minutes of each film I grew up with. And I'm like, Oh my God. Oh, and this one too. And this one too. And this one. And I just kept going and it, you can't stop. Yeah. Can't stop. Won't stop. Very cool. We're, we're close. We're quite close now. We're so close. Yeah. November 12th. Yeah. Just under three months now. Just under three months. So again, uh, thank you again for guys for tuning in to our episode, a little bonus episode here talking about Disney and their D23 blowout. Blowout, blowout, blowout. Out, blow out. Out. Uh, as, as always, you can catch more episodes of the movie podcast every Monday until we're coming back for Tiff. Tiff, will, oh, unless something again. No, what I, else, what no, else I don't could think. possibly be announced? Unless somehow. That we would have to. Bring the fellowship back together. Just some craziness occurs. Marvel Wait, Disney let's, loses let's, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> let's, what? Okay, let's set that bar. Like Henry what, Cavill what? announces he's not coming back as Superman. Man, that's your that's your bar. Okay. Is, is that is that that's, that's Daniel's that, bar? That's kind of a low bar. Like, I wouldn't is that a low bar? Episode. No, like as much as I love Henry yeah. Cavill, and like that's that's like that's, that's where I'm start. That's where I'm starting right now. That's not coming back though. What else? <laughs> what could? Uh, if DC gets bought by somebody else, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Which they, I don't think they can because they're owned no, by no, Warner. No, no, I'm just saying like hypothetically. Like, that's right. how crazy it has to be. It has be. to be something ground or, or they say they're scrapping every single DC film that's coming out. And right. And they're jumping to and something. And here's our roadmap for the future. That's that's pretty bad. That's yeah. something, yeah. Um, You're telling me yeah. that if we got a trailer yeah. for Lady and the Tramp 2, we wouldn't oh, come back together? Scamps Adventure? Scamps <laughs> Scamps Day in London. Was That's hundred so percent. We're coming back. Oh, we're coming, I'm, we're coming I'm back actually. I'm doing a live reaction to that. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to be on Twitch to do that one. We're going to do a Twitch live stream for yeah. that one. 
Yeah. So again, <laughs> pending an earth shattering announcement. Which I can't see. Which we hopefully yeah. won't happen. Because we just we, we need to take this break. We yeah. need our audience to relax. Yeah. They've heard. Imagine yeah. we had to re- keep restarting our break. It was three <laughs> weeks. We have to restart at three weeks. Season two will be coming out <laughs> the same time as Black Panther two. Yeah. <laughs> oh that would be funny. Yeah, but we'll be back. We'll be back. So yeah. TIFF is coming up. It's it's getting closer and closer yeah. as tickets drop. We'll be uh, we'll be there at TIFF to watch a couple of great great films. Yes, and give you our thoughts on them. Our hot takes. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. So, again, guys, you can catch us on thistimewith.com slash talk and our Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you want to go. Instagram. Not Facebook, though, yeah. really. Yep. No, uh, we're not on Facebook. No, we're not on Facebook. Yeah. Instagram.com slash thistimewith, though. We have a lot of fun stuff going 100%. on. 100%. That. And that was This Time with the Movie Podcast. And we'll see you next. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.